you are now watching a show with Zay Frank. When I was young and first learning how to play the guitar, I used to have to count out loud while I played so I didn't lose time. I remember getting all excited when I learned how to play the blues and I played it for my stepfather, but I counted out loud the whole time. One e and a two e and a three e and a. My stepfather had been a drummer and he played with the force of a steam engine. I remember seeing him on stage where he'd just blast right through the end of a song like the brakes that applied to the rest of the band couldn't stop the beat that he was in charge of. So when I played him that stiff, awkward blues, he said to me, do you really think Eric Clapton counts out loud while he plays? <laughs> Crushing, but true. So I licked my wounds and I studied Ted Reed's progressive steps to syncopation for the modern drummer, even though I wasn't a drummer, and I learned my paradiddles and threes over twos, syncopation and switching up accents, slowly learning the bits and pieces of the rhythmic trinity of expectation, silence, and surprise. I had this one rhythm that I used to speak over and over again, kind of like that weird little doodle that you draw all the time, you know what I'm talking about? Like you were sort of sick of it, but it became an extension of you. <laughs> I had this early fascination with the jazz musician Thelonious Monk. To me, a lot of his songs were funny. That's hard to describe, but songs like Blue Monk and Bemsha Swing and Rhythmining. <laughs> It's like he would lull you into this pattern and then break it apart. Expectation, silence, surprise. When I started learning about humor, I realized that comedians speak about a lot of the same things. Jokes and bits have rhythm. The setup, the pause, the punchline. And those rhythms are set inside of bigger beats and repeats that come in threes. Watching younger comics, you can learn a lot by seeing what's broken. They might be good at building expectation and delivering surprise, but they haven't figured out silence yet, and they blast through their lines so fast you don't have room to laugh. Or they're all surprise and pauses without building any patterns for the audience to relax into. When it's all surprise, it stops being a surprise. The craft of it is in the mastery of all three, expectation, silence, surprise. So as we close in on the new year, one of the the downbeats in the song of my life played in that 12 over something time signature, January 1, 2, 3. I think about how those three elements play themselves out in the rest of my life. To me, the expectation piece is the regularities, the habits, the traditions, the job, the things that keep you grounded. Silence is the ability to live between the beats, to be quiet, to be still. And the surprise is trying new things, becoming uncomfortable when you break some patterns. And the craft is in the mastery of all three. If one takes over, you're in trouble. Habits turn into addictions, silence into solitude, and surprise into instability. Me personally, I think next year I'm going to focus a bit more on silence. I kind of suck at that. And surprise. I could stand to break some patterns. How about you? What's the rhythm of your life these days? You happy with it? And what would you change? Bum 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 What is an internet community? Some time ago, I was told that it isn't healthy to spend so much time on the internet.